One of the sounds I remember when I was a kid that I really loved, and it's something that you hear all the way, all around up here in the foothills, is the sound of the wind in the ponderosa pines, which is which is a particularly beautiful musical sound. And I could listen to it for. I love to take it, go down, lay down on the ground, and take a nap in the afternoon under the trees and listen to the wind in the pines. Yeah, well, my process of imp improvisation, I think, is, has just been a natural development. It hasn't been anything that I, I really thought about too much in terms of trying to codify things or say I'm going to play so much of this or so much of that, but, but more or less letting things become internalized and then seeing what comes out and not feeling restricted to be able to swing between different moods as you're playing. And that, that's one of the things I really loved is if at one, at one point you could be playing something free that might sound a little bit like Stockhausen or something and then that could turn into a Duke Ellington tune. And, and I've always liked this kind of morphing from one feeling into another so that music is a journey taking you into a different realms. Well, you know, in my early, I think my early experiments with, with improvisation and stuff, repetition, just, just repetition itself was kind of, at one point, enough for me because it is like mantra or it's like, uh, you know, it's like cycles that are like played in African music or in Indonesian music. The cycling itself is such an important experience in our lives because we're surrounded with, with that. And, and in music, I found it, uh, always interesting. Every time the cycle came around, I heard it, would hear it differently. was that there was always a challenge. And I think great, you know, many masters had come to this, this opinion. I remember uh, hearing Casals say, somebody asked him, um, uh, you know, you get up and you play Bach every morning, this Bach, why do you do this? Why do you practice? You're already a master. And he said, because I think I can improve. And I, well, I was pretty young when I heard this, and I thought, gee, that, how could he improve? Yeah. But then you realize as you get older, that the music is, is unmasterable, you know, it's always, you always feel like there's more steps to make, and for me, my, personally, I feel like there's mountains of steps that I need to make, you know, I just, I feel it's enormous, I, I'm surprised that I got this old and know so little. <laughs> You know, I'm going to be 75 this year. I, there's, I, I realize a lot of works of mine are sitting there waiting to be finished. And, uh, you know, I'm looking down, how, how long is it going to take me to do, you know, what I'm working on right now? And, and uh, I'm really, uh, really hoping to, uh, you know, to do the best work I, I've ever done right at this, at this part of my life. So I think of it in that term. But I feel that this is the time to, to uh, to make the, the best statement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.